fart faces. Welcome to my what was going to be year end wrap up. But some of these I did the previous year. So this is going to be all the completed diamond paintings that I have up until today. I'm not including my snack size diamond paintings because I already kind of went through those in a portfolio video, which I will link down below. These are all just like kind of the larger diamond paintings that I've done. Um, there's a selection of different companies, like we'll go through Dreamer Designs all the way to Distracted by Diamonds or Aloha and Dr Diamond Art Club. These are all going to be just random companies and then we'll get to the Diamond Art Club ones. I have them in a separate pile. But if you enjoy this video and you like videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Just gently tap it, gen gently push it. I post diamond painting videos on an almost daily basis. I'd love to have you subscribed and part of my hive. So let's get started with the Distracted by Diamonds canvases. This is, what is this one called? Bumblebee by Jasmine Castillo. This is from Distracted by Diamonds, aka Patty Wax, or whatever you want to call them. I really like this one. I went through and did sparklers along the wings here and like the outline of the entire bee. And if there's any of these you want to see a complete post review on, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments down below. This one is called Bumblebee. This was a gift to me from Sandra West. Thank you so much, Sani. This was, I think, my first ever Distracted by Diamonds. And then after I worked on this one, I was like, okay, I need all of the bug ones from Jasmine Castillo. So this was really cute. And this is the first time I ever used sparklers because Sandra sent me some sparklers in the package. And I think this one turned out, this is one of my favorite diamond paintings. The next one is the moth, um, Buena, Bueno Pistons' Moth <laughs> by Jasmine Castillo, also from Distracted by Diamonds. All the ones I have from Distracted by Diamonds is Jasmine Castillo artwork. This one, to keep in theme with the rest of them, I also outlined in sparklers. I think this one turned out really nicely. This is also one of my favorite diamond paintings because, I don't know, I just love it. Then we're moving on to Uniquely Yours Down Under. This was called, does it say on here? It doesn't say on the canvas what this is called, but I forget, I even forget the freaking artist's name, but this one is really cute. I liked working on this one. This is my only one I have from Uniquely Down Yours Down Under. They're an Australian company, and I don't know, I just really like how this one turned out. She's like a witch, she has her crow, she has her owl, she has her wolf. She has like a little cauldron down here. This next one, okay, so now we're gonna get into Crafties. So this is from Crafties. I think this is Sybil Art. Is it Sybil Art? It doesn't say on here, but this is a Sybil Art one. I do have a post review for this one if you wanna see it. Um, you just have to go back in my previous videos. The one thing I didn't like about her was her face with these diamonds and I'm already missing one. Some of these are missing drills because I have not been storing my diamond paintings in a really great order so yeah i should probably take care of them this next one is called northern spirit this is also from crafties this one turned out really nice um i forget the artist for this one but it had really nice sparkly diamonds or rhinestones whatever you want to call them in like the the horizon area yeah and i think the deer turned out really nicely so that is Crafties. This was my first one I've completed from Dreamer Designs. It is called Peaceful Evening by Liam Kelly. And it's, it's I don't know, this one for some reason, like I don't really like doing a lot of like cottagey scenery ones, but this one really spoke to me. Um, there was a little bit of gapping in the drills, which I didn't like, but other than that, I would say the squares were pretty good. The canvas feels pretty nice. I think I have a post review on this one on my channel. I'm not sure. This next one is called Kindred Spirit. This is also from Dreamer Designs. I think it's Anne of Green Gables. I believe I did a post review on this one. Um, yeah, I think she's really pretty. I like how she turned out. She's huge. She measures, she measures. 60 by 80 centimeters and the artist is Regan Kubasek. I like his artwork. His The girls that he draws are really cute. But yeah, I like how this one turned out. This one was square and this was really fun to work on. I really like the quality of the squares and 
Um, this one, like, even though it's so big, it didn't take very long because there is a lot of color blocking. The next one we have is from Evershine, which is an AliExpress company. Uh, it's just a lighthouse image. I like it. It's cute. It was one of my first purchases. This one measures 40 by 50 centimeters, and this was a round diamond painting. <sighs> This one was from, I believe, Home Fun. Is it Home Fun? I don't know. It was from an AliExpress company. I believe it was from Home Fun. This was double sided adhesive. It measures 45 by 45 and it's a round diamond painting. I just love like this dude. Let me move this stuff over. I just like that there's like this dude in a lake or something and there's like turtles around him and ducks and he has like all these roses it's like what are you doing what are you hanging out in this little swamp area for yeah that's that one this is uh the moth moth lady or something like that from mindfulness mindfulness diamond painting but this is from when they were called diamond painting factory they rebranded not sure why uh, i really like how this one turned out I wish I would have got it in a larger size because I really, really, really love Death's Head Moths and like I have one tattooed, obviously. So I like how this one turned out. There is like some questionable coloring in here, but um, I think for the most part, this one turned out really well, like if you don't look too close up. And this was a round diamond painting that measures 40 by 55. Now we're into Mary's Diamonds. This was... A square diamond painting from Mary's Diamonds. I forget what it's called. Fish Woman, Aqua Woman, or something like that. And basically, this was a square diamond painting. I like the quality of squares. This was my first Mary's Diamonds that was square. This measures 40 by 80 centimeters. And I think it turned out really lovely. I like it. There's no, I don't think there's any special drills. Yeah, there's no ABs or anything like that, but it turned out really nicely. I like Mary's Diamonds. And then this is one of my earlier Mary's Diamonds before they switched factories. This is, I believe, is it Virgo? Does it say? I don't know. It's It measures 60 by 40 centimeters. I don't remember if it's called Virgo, but it is like um, part of their, oh, what is it? Part of their astrology series. I really like how it turned out. I like how most of these turned out. I think I said that for every single one. Whatever. It's really pretty. And I like that she looks Asian and not like she's a woman of color. And I think we need more of that in diamond painting. So that's awesome. This is a, what is her name? I forget the artist's name, but she has a whole bunch of, of images like this. Oh, why can't I remember her name? Does it say on here? This is called, oh. Legend of the Wolf by Gloria West. Yes, Gloria West. There's a thumbnail and it measures, does it say? It measures, whoa. It measures 50 by 65. It's a round diamond painting. And this one's really beautiful. Like, I really struggled. I remember doing this and I really struggled near the end of it. I was like, I just want to get this done. I just want to get this done. But she turned out really nice. And I, and on other people's finishes, when Gloria West was really popular to be diamond painting, no one else had this dot on her face, like this dark beauty mark. And I think I placed down the wrong color. So, but I think the beauty mark actually matches her. I like how this one turned out. This is an AliExpress buy. I was really, really, really into doing special diamond paintings, like special drill diamond paintings. And this is just a cat. This one was fun to do. I really like doing special di partial diamond paintings because they are really fun and they work up really quickly. So it's like super satisfactory. Uh, I don't remember what size this is or where it's from, but I think it was from AliExpress. This is a Tin Me Arts. This is my first and only ever Tin Me Arts. It is like really soft lint canvas. There's ABs, like this blue color all throughout. Those are all ABs, which was really cool. I got this on AliExpress. They also sell Tin Me Arts on Etsy and Amazon. This is a round diamond painting and it measures 50 by 40. Okay. 
we're making pretty good time, I think. This, okay, ignore this because I was, I, ac I actually stored this rolled up and then I was shoving diamond paintings next to it and it ripped up all the drills, whatever. I'm not going to do anything with this. This is literally going to go under my bed and no one will ever see it again. So this is from Crystal Canvas Arts. Uh, art designs. This is my first one ever from them. My first and only one from them. I probably will order from them again. I was just, I have a post review of this video, so I won't go into things. You can watch the post review on my channel. You just have to use a search function, but it says stay wild moon child. And I liked it because there was a bee and all of these drills are crystal drills. So none of them are just like normal drills. They're just all crystal. I think the black ones though might be resin, but anyways, now we're on to my Oraloas. I'm an Oraloa ambassador. This was one of the first Oraloas that I've completed besides the one underneath it. I think this one turned out really nicely. This one is like the best size ever, 45 by 45. And I think that's such a good size because it didn't take long to do. And um, this one actually used 310 AB. So anywhere there was like a black color that like, the outline of her face and the wolf and stuff that was all done with 310 AB which shines like more like blue green and I think it turned out perfectly I really like how this one turned out one of the very cute ones that I got from Oraloa and there's tons of there's tons of ABs in this one I believe there's two four six eight ABs in this one so that was that's just amazing to me then the last one I'm showing you is namaste and she is missing some drills throughout sorry but this is namaste i did complete her i did do a almost post review like i did it when i was almost done her there's some drills missing in the corner here whatever um yeah she's really huge i don't think i want to do another big one like this this was 57 by 85 centimeters i don't think that i'll want to do another one this size just because it was a lot of work and yeah it's a round diamond painting she turned out really pretty i love the rendering and there were some ab's i believe there is one there were two ab's in this one so yeah this one's really nice but it was a really big project and i think this is the one that burnt me up from big projects so now let's move on to diamond art clubs uh these are the majority of the diamond paintings i've done from diamond art club but i'm I'm always like gifting diamond art clubs to other people. So the, I believe like three or four of them are missing from this, but I should have post reviews on my channel for those ones, or you might've seen me working on them in other videos. So this is the first one here is Princess Mononoke by B, uh, what is his name? Princess Mononoke. It doesn't have the artist's name on here, surprisingly. Jojo's Art. Jojo's Art did this one, yeah. And this is really, I like this one, but when I was working on it, literally, Clayton said this one looked like a dong, and then I couldn't unsee it, and all I could see when I was diamond painting was this thing, and I was like, it's such a dong. Like, I was like, what kind of dong is that? But, like, literally, that's all I could think about when I finished this diamond painting. So, that is the dong, Princess Mononoke. This is another one by Jojo's Art. It is called... What is it called? It is called The Lamb and the Dragon Measures 42 by 53 centimeters. It is a round diamond painting. I really liked how this one turned out. The lamb, it has a bees in it. And it's just like, oh, I don't know. This one's just so beautiful. I love it. The next one we have is Upside Down Katana. So here's Katana. I got this one on release day and they sold it on their website to those who weren't in the States because I'm in Canada. So I was able to snag it from their website. The, the Asian symbols on the left hand side here are all AB and there's ABs like throughout the tattoos, ABs throughout his eyes and ears, the sword. And I think this one turned out really cute. I really liked working on this. This was a round, was it? No, it's a square diamond painting. And it measures 43 by 56 centimeters by Vincent Trinidad. And yeah, the squares were really good in this kit, I must say. I really like the squares in this one. This one is called The Seer. This is a huge diamond painting. And this measures 56 by 79 centimeters. This one was a beast to work on. 
but I really like how it turned out. This, the white outline has a bees in it, which I think made it really stand out and made it like contrast really well with the background. And I, I just love how she turned out. This is the Seer by, does it say? By Emily Jarij. And again, it measures 56 by 79 centimeters and it is a square diamond painting. Did I already say that? I don't know. This is my first and only Chuck Pinson. I did this for the Chuck Along. I can't remember. I think it was last year I did this for the Chuck Along. This is Symbol Country by Chuck Pinson. Let me just show you properly. I love that there's like this little cat here. There was color blocking, but most of it was color blocking like up and down. Vertical? Vertical color blocking. I did like it though. It was fun to work on. Um, but by the end of it, I was like, oh, I just need to finish this. And I think I rushed through the end of it. It is a round diamond painting and it measures 74 by 56 centimeters. And like, again, I'm not really one to do a lot of houses, but I, I really liked how this turned out. And I like the ABs that are sprinkled throughout. You can't really tell on camera, but you can in real life. Yeah, this is probably going to be, besides Governor's Party, which I ordered from someone who's de-stashing, this is probably going to be only one of a few Chuck Pinsons that I do because I'm not a huge fan of confetti diamond painting. This next one was a gift to me from Sandra West. So here we have Scaredy Cats. That, I was joking and saying that is Scruffy, or sorry, that is Kenzu. This is Clayton, the pumpkin, and Scruffy, my other black cat, is that cat there. So it, it shows the three boys in my life. I was just joking around about it, but Clayton thought it was funny that I said he was a pumpkin. Anyway, Sandra West sent this to me for the Halloween Drills and Chills event. It's a square diamond painting called Scaredy Cats, and it's by Jeff Haney. I love how this one turned out. It was super fun to work on, lots of color blocking. It did not take long at all despite its size, but the ABs throughout it are gorgeous. And I, I just love it because it's like my babies. And apparently it glows in the dark, I believe. Uh, one of the colors glows in the dark. I haven't seen it in the dark because literally I just rolled it up and put it back in the box when I was done it. But this one turned out really cute. This is Sweet Purple. So Sweet Purple is very special to me because she was the one that got me into Diamond Art Club when I was looking for, after buying like AliExpress diamond paintings, I was like, what other companies are there that don't sell on AliExpress? And then I came across Sweet Purple and it was like, I hummed and hawed about buying a diamond painting at, for that price. And then once I got Sweet Purple, I was like, okay, I'm hooked on Diamond Art Club. So I was very excited to get her. She was on, she was like the first one on my wish list ever. And she turned out really nicely. She is um, 42 by 49 centimeters and it's a round diamond painting. I love the ABs in this one. Like look at her shirt. Her shirt has ABs in it and it's just so beautiful. This next one is Angie and Oliver from Diamond Art Club. And I just love it. Oliver is so cute. And the ABs that are put throughout the diamond painting, I don't know if you can actually tell. But there are ABs throughout, like blue ABs and stuff like that. And it just turned out really beautiful. And it's just a very cute one. The, this was really fun to work on. I really like working on Hannah Lynn's artwork because everything is outlined in black. So what I did when I broke it up into sections, I would do all of the black outline in that section. Then I'd go in and fill it in with color. And it kind of felt like I was coloring. This is a square diamond painting. And I really like it. I don't know. Do you guys like Hannah Lynn? I love Hannah Lynn's artwork. Another Hannah Lynn is uh, Mother Earth from Diamond Art Club again. The ABs throughout, like the ABs in her dress and the globe and stuff are just beautiful. And I love, I love like the little things that you notice when you look at it. Like you see there's like a duck here or what is it, a swan. There's like little lotus flowers or whatever those things are. And I love how there's like different geographical locations like there's mountains up there but then here there's like a there's kind of like a desert area and then there's like this really floral rich area and there's like an apple tree or whatever and then there's a waterfall like I think this is really cute 
So I really like her. I wasn't originally going to get her, but she ended up in my stash and I I was like, okay, I'm going to finish this. I saw, I think Uncrafty Crafter was working on it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to work on her too. So yeah. This other one was one that it really got me into Diamond Art Club as well. It's called Wishes by Erica the Goober. And this one was really cute. I really like how this one turned out. Again, like all of my other diamond paintings, I like how they turned out. This was a round diamond painting. And as you can see, there's ABs all throughout her shirt. There's some in her eyes. There's some in this in this background here. And this one was really quick to do because of all the color blocking. I really loved it. This last one, yes, we are on the last one, finally. This is the last one. Um, this is Honey Mermaid from Simona Candini, and it measures 56 by 71 centimeters. This was a gift to me from Jess. I'll link her channel down below. Um, yeah, I. this one, I was like, I wanted it. It was on my wish list, but I, was, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not, and then Jess surprised me and got it for my birthday last year, and I just think she turned out beautifully. I love the ABs, again, the placement of ABs throughout and, like, in the in the honey and stuff like that and it's just it's just a different image like there's bees in it and she's a but she's a mermaid like what is she doing in here did she come across their layer their their beehive that's underwater i have no idea but i love this one or is she the queen bee maybe she's the queen bee anyways guys so those are the majority of the diamond paintings i've completed thus far since my diamond painting career has started my diamond painting hobby um, if you have any questions, again, about any particular diamond painting, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know which one out of all of them was your favorite. I'm always curious to hear about it. And if you want to post review for an individual one, just let me know. Right now, I'm going to put these into my huge black portfolio, and then I'm going to shove them under the bed, and then they're not going to be seen by the light of day probably until we move. So... That's how I'm going to store them. I was storing them rolled up in the box, but boxes take up a lot of room, especially when you have a bigger stash as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. And again, if you're new here and you enjoyed this video or it was helpful to you, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button right here, the red one, subscribe, and join the hive. Bye!